The lichen, you guys still struggling? Aaron, you wanna break it down and just assert your dancing dominance right now? It's got some chips in it and a few little cracks here and there from being a stunt car, but overall it's in really good shape. Did you just die? Yeah. What's up, people? I have gone full random selfie POV, like all the exotic YouTubers. By exotic YouTubers, I mean exotic cars, not like dancers or people. Uh. Anyway, we're gonna check out the Lycan Hypersport today. Some of the guys are working on it. These are two new students that I'd like to introduce you to. Actually, I think you've seen Aaron. He destroyed me in a dance competition. There he is. Aaron, you wanna break it down and just assert your dancing dominance right now? Yeah, I got, I got nothing on that, you guys. Okay, well, you gotta come back on the screen. All right, so anyway, the, the Lycan is here, and we got Jake. What's up, Jake? Oh. Living the dream. He is living the dream. So, we gotta figure out how to do this. I'm new to this. I know DDE, DD, DDE, Damon Fryer, right? Yeah. And uh, who else does the selfie thing? Stradman? Mm, I don't know, I can't think of anything. All right, so anyway, guys, we are today getting this thing ready for paint, and I think you are gonna put on the bumper here because we got the screen in it, that's all finalized, how it mounts, and it's kind of painstaking making all the mounts and bonding it to the composite and getting that ready. So you guys just, you wanna do that? Yep. Oh, and I'll narrate, because everybody just wants to hear me randomly talk about nothing. What's up, Jake? Oh, working on this, trying to get this back together. We've been doing a lot of work on the mirrors. Forget that. Day. We want to see your t-shirt. Oh, my t-shirt? I'm a Jeep fan. He is a Jeep fan. Yeah. Okay, all right. So anyway, on the note of something intelligent, what do you got going on here? What st stage of the process are you in? Uh, right now, we're getting the bumper mounted up. We, got the sc we just got the screens put in. We've had the mounts on there for a little bit, but we just finally got the screens put in. We've also been trying to do some other projects. Just got the firewall in the car. We're working on some mirror mounts right now. Fantastic. Just about ready for paint. All right. You want to take your side first? Yeah, I just got one of the holes. She was front lined up already. Tell me what you need me to do. And everybody on the internet, comment below as I'm sure you're going to do and tell them what they're doing wrong right now. Yes, I'm only being mostly sarcastic because I know how you all are, you internet people. No, this is going beautifully, you guys. Obviously, the composite bodywork of the Lycan has got some chips in it and a few little cracks here and there from being a stunt car, but overall, it's in really good shape. The gel coating really has almost no, nothing in the way of uh, stress cracks, which is really great because that can be a pain in the butt for everybody that does composites. Some of the edge and stuff has beat up a little bit, but that's mostly just from storage. That'll be real easy, actually, to smooth and fix and fill. Uh, so it's gonna be pretty gorgeous. So it looks like they are belting the flanges together here and getting that ready. Am I bugging you, Aaron? Not right now. Am I throwing off your deal? Not, not yet. Maybe I should try harder. How about you, Jake? How you doing? Pretty good if I didn't if I could find the nut that I dropped. Oh, you're saying you just dropped a nut? Yeah. Hmm, gotcha. <laughs> well, that's cool. All right, so for everybody watching, I think we are going to rearrange the shop for Genius Garage and my own ridiculous builds. As you can see, it's kind of a, it's a, a huge mix up here. In the last year, just my own builds and stuff are taking off. And I got that going on and that's been good because I could be in the same, in the same room as Genius Garage students and help them out when need be. But now everything's getting bigger. So let me go back to selfie mode. Oh, what's up? I'm like all of the automotive YouTubers now. Genius Scratch, like in Hypersport. I basically point at stuff. This is kind of hilarious because I feel like I'm making fun of all the dudes that do that. But there's a reason for it. It makes it easier. So anyway, the shop looks great. We got a lot of space here. It's really nice. It's got good character being an old Quonset hut and kind of kind of historical from the American thing. So these guys got a good place for this right now. We arranged it and got some more floor space right by where we do some metal fabrication. Obviously we got an English wheel in here and the sheet metal brake, some good shears. And then way over there in the corner of the table, that gray thing is a metal shrinker stretcher. So you can make flanges and, and then make them curve with that, which actually they're gonna have to do in some of the support for the side mirrors going to be on the Lycan right here. But anyway, so we're making more space. But then over here, you can see I've got some space for my King Zero build, which I'm glad you guys are following along on and really excited about. But we got so much crap in here that just takes up too much space. The pterosaur is not one of them, okay? It's on the ceiling. We can't go on the ceiling, so it stays. Yes, super cool. But the trouble is, 
So we've got my Corvette and the Omega car sitting over here. And then there's Genius Garage's race Corvette and Genius Garage's Morgan. And then the Auburn project here, would you guys believe the 1917 Auburn race car actually going to get working on and finish up the body here this winter. And it's going to go back to its home for a while there. So we're freeing up space and we're going to just basically redo this whole building. Uh, and my thought is right now, let's go up front real quick while the guys are getting that Lycan bumper on. What I want to do is the front of our building here, which is a bit smaller, which you guys have seen has got the airplane in it. That's the uh, full scale stop of Camel, the Genius Garage built back in, oh gosh, what was that, 2018? And took to Oshkosh, it's super cool. Yes, it's an actual airplane. Yes, it can actually fly. We just haven't plumbed it and wired it and stuff. So that's there. And then Genius Garage has got their prototype here. And here recently I shoved my little formula car up here because it's tiny. Genius Garage has got Project Cheap with a cart and then my dirt bike's over there. So, and then over here, you can see is the desk I sit at a lot when I'm working. That's I'm more accessible to the students. And then over here, we've got the offices and stuff on the wall back there. So what I'm thinking is this room in here of just making this room dedicated just Genius Garage, um, because then it makes sense. So we'll have the red car in there, the airplane, although I think we're gonna have to take the wings off and kind of put it in storage in the corner. Then we'll bring the yellow Corvette up here and the Morgan. And then the hamster's cart, the six wheel will be there, and then the go-kart. And that's kind of nice because when students are just wanting to work on their careers and have their shot, they can have their own room and do their own thing. And it doesn't become just a big mess. Um, it's been that a little bit just because of the nature of growth. Um, and for all you guys know about Genius Garage, obviously a 501c3 nonprofit public educational charity, which I built to get young people to have their shot when they come out of design and engineering and stuff. And it's worked really, really well. But my own stuff is doing well too, so I gotta be able to do my own thing. So I think I'm gonna be back here with all my builds and stuff, and Genius Grad will have their own dedicated space, so that's gonna be really nice and not just a mess. So for all you that are watching that are figuring out like what is the deal, what's going on, that's it. Genius Grad is its own thing, it's not me, I'm just the guy that led it. So it'll be nice when they can have just specifically their own room. So the Lycan, you guys still struggling? Why are you struggling? Did you just die? Yeah. What is the matter with you? Get enough under here to get these bolts. All right, well, do your thing. This is a killer bumper. You, you gotta be careful around this thing. It's a killer bumper. How do you like working with Jake here? Oh, he's a good guy. I've known him since before Genius Garage. Oh, you have? You guys are like car buddies? Yeah, yeah we, we had some projects together when, we were, when I went to BG. Oh, that's cool. What'd you guys work on together? Uh, we did a large SolidWorks project. Where yeah. We made a small train. A small like train? A, like a small like train car. Okay. We modeled it, and it was like a to be like a wooden model train. Oh, nice. Okay. It's about like a hundred and some pieces. Yeah. We modeled together. Yar. I'm not very good at this uh, daily driven exotic kind of <laughs> selfie business. Show them your tattoo. Oh, this one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. He totally got that in prison. Not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got my Graflex here, and I got a big old Jeep thing on my leg. Oh, nice. You are a Jeep driving Star Wars nerd. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's cool. All right, yeah. you guys got this on yet? The internet is losing its mind. They're deeply criticizing. I know, the are gonna go crazy. I know, they're deeply criticizing everything about us right now. My face, my use of contractions, when I mispronounce words or get something wrong. Oh, yeah. I, I bet they don't like your hat. Probably not. They probably don't like this either. Because it's too geeky? Yeah. Whatever. I know what a graph flex. Flash gun is from the 1930s, and I built a lightsaber before you could buy them. Take that. Yeah. I'm a Star Wars nerd hipster. <laughs> Okay, so if this doesn't go on, how are we going to finish the car? Push it over a cliff. No, 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 no. That's what Ed's going to do with that Mercedes, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, if this doesn't go on, how are we going to finish it? Well, we're going to have to get it going. Maybe I should just sit back here and do a time lapse with some music.
All right, you guys, back to selfie mode like all the guys out there. Okay, so you're not cool like them. Stop trying to be like everybody else, whatever. Okay, so the doors, let's show you what's going on here. So they come open real fast because they're real lightweight right now. It doesn't have all everything on the inside. But you guys can see here some of the basic aluminum work that went on relating to the firewall. Um, the structure is in fact riveted and bonded to um, brackets that connect to where the steel is. You can see the triangulation here. Um, that doesn't go directly into the tube because it's not the typical engineering type thing. But what it does is it creates added strength to that plane. So it's actually creating the tubular structure that's around here as well as here added strength to the whole plane and the surface. Sort of creating like a monocoque structure. Not that it does that much in terms of engineering, but it is more and it is better. So that's effectively the firewall that's going on, the real basic thing with everything stripped out. You can see that right now, the rest of the remaining carpet and such and the interior is not in as well as the headline. And the reason being is we are going to be prepping this now for paint. So that's kind of the big thing. The paint, and that's why I didn't show you guys a video last week, was just because there's so many little details going on it doesn't constitute that great of a video yet, and I want you to have something good. So the panel here in the middle that you can see it right there, that actually is removable. And then we have a secondary panel that totally seals where the flat six engine is. So it's gonna be really nice. So unlike what Ferrari did with say like the Testarossa and the 512 BBI and all those cars I couldn't stand working on back in the day, like the 348 and 355 as well, we actually gave access to the front of the engine so you don't have to do massive engine outs every time you want to work on it. So just pretty good there and one reason why it's good for young engineers to have the opportunity to actually be mechanics and work on stuff because then you learn what's good, bad, and indifferent and you can make it better when you do it in the future. So Jake man, you got this thing on there? Yeah, it's on. All right, so I know that wasn't like the hugest thing in the world you've ever done, but how do you feel how it looks? And look, I think it looks great. I think it's fine. It's great to finally see it with the mesh on the back of it. Yeah, totally. And Aaron's going to grab the tail lights just so we can put them in. Oh, just so you can them. look at them? Okay, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah, no, I agree. And this is a really high quality stainless steel screen mm -hmm. mesh you typically get from racing products and such. Yeah. Obviously, the car is not finished and painted right now. Obviously, it does not have the diffuser in down below, like right yeah. in here. Uh, but it, it looks like a million bucks, man. That's awesome. Aaron, be careful with those tail lights. They're the only ones we got, and they're prototype made by Ryan Davenport painstakingly over a long period of time. Careful, careful. Oh God, you're freaking me out, people. These taillights are like priceless. If these taillights, you know what? I wonder what it would cost to prototype taillights like this with the amount of time. Dude, Love. big time, big time. So Ryan's definitely going places. I mean, that alone, hey, yo, yo, before you do that, maybe think about which side taillight you got there. It's, you got a Tetris to this action. Tetris, turn, turn. And be mindful, I don't know how easily they slide into the holes in the composite if they be, be gentle with them, you know what I mean? Okay. Are all the nuts off the studs yeah, in the back? I took the nuts off. Okay. Make sure you keep a finger holding that thing there so it doesn't just fall off. Is it in? Okay, it's not going anywhere. It looks sweet. Okay, just leave it. Don't touch yeah, it. it Don't weird. leave. It's, done. it's fine. Aaron, you, did you take off the nuts on the studs? Aaron, you're freaking me out, buddy. So bad. Freaking me out. I thought we had the nuts somewhere else. Ryan is yelling at the screen right now. That looks sweet. Be careful how much you bonk it in there. It's handmade. Okay, I don't know if you can let go of that safely. In fact, don't let go of it. Just stand up to the side of the car and keep your hand there. And for the love of God, don't let it fall out of there. All right, how does it look? Ooh, that is nice. It's, really good. it's gonna look better when all the black trim and everything's there and it's painted. Obviously it just is not, like, the annoying thing is for all the people that don't get the process, they're looking at, ooh, it looks like crap. And then it actually looks freaking amazing. Yeah. The thing's gonna. You can only capture so much with 4K or 1080p pixels. Well, not just that, but I mean, when, you know, when everything's painted and beautiful and all the seams are together and everything's buttoned down in finality, it's, it just looks so much, so much more amazing. All right, you guys, so you're pretty happy with the, uh, the screen in the back, the stainless steel mesh? Absolutely. I think it looks great. And um, the way it captures the light, it, um, not that you want to, but um, you don't have to worry about the aesthetics on the inside because you can't see any of it. Yeah. 
but the sheet metal and everything on the inside is finished off very nicely. Obviously, you've got really nice exhaust um, where that comes out, and the uh, transax looks good. But you won't see that because of the uh, Venturis. We are still going to have to make our exhaust steps. There were some sitting in the back of there behind the bumper that I forgot. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. But we've got to make the uh, the ones that look like parallelograms. These are oh. just like the the wide open sole performance ones that we used for the track. Gotcha. gotcha. So you probably. When we get this thing back from painting, that's going to be one of the things you're going to want to TIG weld those out of stainless. Awesome. Nice. All right, you guys, you got anything you want to say to close this video? Aaron, how do you like working on the Lycan? I'm liking it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Did you do that on purpose, saying I'm liking that? Uh, <laughs> pun not intended, I promise. How about you? Uh, that's pretty good. It's not bad. It's, uh, it's a lot of tedious stuff right now. It's, yeah. it's the finishing work, so it's a lot of small jobs and but it's, it's true. It, it adds up a lot well it's going really well and uh we're gonna be getting this thing off to the paint booth soon and as we start getting to the final aspect of the build you guys we're gonna do some really beautiful videos of panning shots and all so stay tuned it's gonna be pretty